Hey, what's going on, Archons? Welcome to another episode of Key Thoughts, my weekly vlog on my musings in the game of Keyforge, my experience throughout the week, things I've been mulling over, ideas, crazy thoughts, you know, everything along those lines that happens when you play such a great game. Um, first off, I want to say that the AOA extravaganza is going strong. I have not opened up, excuse me, any heaters yet but a lot of Project ZYX decks. Like, I've opened more Project ZYX decks in the first, like, six decks than I have in all my other AOA decks that I've ever opened combined, which is, like, must be in the 100, around the 100 mark. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. So, yeah, it's uh, pretty exciting. I do like Project ZYX, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying discovering AOA again and the mysteries it holds, and especially when I get to go on TCO and test these and come against mass mutation decks, I find that the most exciting matchup for AOA because they are both board-based uh, sets. So it's pretty neat, and I find uh, the fact that AOA came out at the time of the year that it did, and mass mutations did it as well, and they both have that board-centric sort of idea to them is really interesting. Um, what have I been musing about this week? Well, after jamming a bunch of games, getting to my coach's collection, uh, it's just making me really appreciate what has come before. Uh, the desire to open new things and discover new decks is always there. But what I have realized is that getting to rediscover things that I haven't seen in a while is a lot of fun as well. It makes me really appreciate the game of Keyforge and uh, the, I guess, the place decks hold in your heart for different reasons. Uh, as well as this, you may have saw that I decided to take on a mission of playing every single deck I own at least once. I'm making my way through my decks. I have them alphabetized like A to Z, and they're done in a way where they're um, they're not actually like, technically alphabetical, but like all the A decks are put together, all the B decks are put together, that sort of thing. And I'm just making my way through, and uh, the way I'm testing is I have a count, a count, an account on TCO called Coach Collection. So if you see me on there, please know that I'm not playing a heater deck at all. I'm playing always in competitive. So if you see me and want to jam against some of my untested decks, uh, come and join and let me know that you're aware I'm doing this. I would love to know that uh, you're actually aware of this. And if you want to play a deck too that maybe you haven't really played before, we can go uh, a matchup and see what's what. And how I've decided to categorize this is after I play a deck, I mark that it does have a game played with it in my Master Vault so I know. And if it loses, I delete it off my TCO account. If it wins, it stays on the account. And I'm going to kind of do this almost like this tournament and see what decks kind of rise, which decks I like, things like that. Try and discover some new things because I do have, I'm going to breach 400 decks probably next week or the week after based on my AOA openings. And um, AOA is definitely going to become my most owned set, by the way. Uh, and I'm just kind of realizing I want to know all my decks. I adopted playing every deck I opened. Uh, being on stream has really helped with that. Having a platform where I'm motivated to test something new and see what it does has really allowed me to appreciate all the decks. And I learn a lot doing this. Uh, especially because a lot of decks I have, I may get some experience with them because of sealed play. That doesn't happen when you're playing... Uh, in a world where we are not playing sealed in real life. So hopefully that will be changing this year and we'll get back to some of those fun activities. But until then, I'm just going through my collection and making sure I get to see everything with no tournaments on the horizon that I'm really trying to get my best decks in. Uh, that doesn't give me a feeling of necessity to really test out these other decks that I have uh, and really spend time with my heaters. That being said, I've been kind of roped into playing in the ABR League. Um, my man Zoded, aka Joe, he basically pulled me in and then I got such a warm welcome from everyone when I joined the server that it was uh, it's going to be hard not to cave in and play, but uh, I got to see how my schedule feels. Uh, do you think I should play in the ABR League? Let me know. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about getting in back into the tournament scene in a way because... I do love playing some competitive Keyforge, and I've been really enjoying this other side of the game where I haven't been being competitive, and I'm just kind of playing decks, exploring, discovering, seeing all that the game has to offer and its different facets is uh, always fun. So yeah, and um, if you're not tuning in to the Help From Future Self podcast, know that we got some great stuff going on right now. We do, um, Alex and I have been working our way through the idea of your deck is lacking something 
and we did one episode last week talking about metrics. This week we are actually talking about when your deck is lacking a house, i.e. you have a dud house. And what does that mean? How do you play with it? It's going to be really fun and we got one more episode next week to kind of round things off. So I hope that you all have been enjoying that. This is a little bit shorter episode today. My musings are more uh, on the surface. They're not as deep this time. But I will say, make sure you play all your decks and, and enjoy them. Uh, if it's something you haven't done, I do recommend doing it. I just kind of started at the front and started working my way through. It's great. So uh, check it out. Let me know what you think of this idea. Are you doing this idea yourself? Have you already done it? And uh, what are your findings? Please comment below and let me know your thoughts as well. If you have any things that have occurred in the week that you want to share with me about this great game, uh, please let me know. And as always, don't forget about Project Reforge. We're going to be going hard with that. I actually have something in the works right now with my guy Carl from Crazy Killing Machine. We're going to be doing a video series very soon that I think is going to be very great for helping with Project Reforge as well as anyone you know who's going to be new to the game. So uh, more info coming soon, so uh, stay tuned for that. But that's all for this week. Uh, please check out some of the other videos. Uh, great stuff is happening right now on my YouTube. I'm super excited with the content that's being created. I hope you're enjoying it. But as always, may your ever never be stolen. May your keys forge promptly. Have a good one.